Hello guys, I had a lot of requests about how to make tool patch in ArtCam and uh, PowerMill. So today I decided to talk about that. As you know, ArtCam can make 3D tool patch and 2D tool patch for 3 axis and 2 axis and even for 4 axis. But uh, ArtCam G code for 4 axis is not professional, it's so just for simple design if you want to make professional g code for for access cnc you can use power mill i suggest you power mill because it's very powerful software it can make 2d and 3d tool pads for three active and four active and five and more and it's uh, very very powerful it can you can control everything in power mill I make a video for that and I will teach you how to make uh, 4-axis tool pads with uh, curve projection method, curve projection strategy. Okay, let's dive in it. I'm using PowerMill 2019. First thing to do is import 3D model into the Power mill, select your four axis file. I'm here. I select uh, furniture leg and uh, I want to set direction set 0.4 3D model. I can uh, transform in x, y, z direction, rotate it to set. Uh, position in uh, power mill usually direction should be in x uh, axis We set position and reference point for this leg. Here the X axis is rotating axis and we rotate during machining. But to active movement to the Y axis we need to draw a pattern. There is something you should take care about the pattern. The pattern will start from the bottom of the model and go to the top. The start and the end point should be both be in zero in a Y and Z direction and both should be tangent to the X axis. The pattern must be stay entirely within the model and cannot be extended out of side the model. And the top view should be something like this. You have to press control when you're drawing pattern to make it uh, fix it on the X and Z plan. Next step is defining work plan. We need two work plan for this project. One uh, same as Power Mill has default work plan and we need another work plan for tools. It should be rotated in 90 degree along Y axis. Now it's time to make tool pads. We use projection curve finishing. From the finishing, we can find projection finishing and select it. Okay. We have to set 
work plan for it the custom work plan is power mill work plan so we, we don't change it we uh, we have to define block and we calculate it automatically by power mill and here we should define which tools we use Normally we use Balnos 3.6 and 12 for diameter. Tool tip reduce a 1.5. And let should be something like A T in curve projection file the part we use the curve we uh, draw before and this style will be spiral. We don't change tolerance and thickness, but we change the step over to get Better result, we use a small, uh, small step over. Uh, here uh, I choose 0 0.5. In tool axis we choose lead and lean. And mode to Remove tool patch, active tool axis limit, move tool axis and should be manual. Use the second work plan for it. Also set the rapid move, select to cylinder because it's rotating. When it's rotating we need to set cylinder um, shape for rapid move. Press calculate to calculate it automatically by power mill. Here is also we have to set lead in and let out and first let in options here because a uh, let in is uh, when you when a uh, tools come inside the material uh, this option will help me to control how it's coming and uh, set the better parameter for it we separate first let in to make it uh, smooth and slowly start with a ramp link option doesn't matter in uh, this pro strategy because it's calculated automatically by power mill I set according to the three axis tool patch first point should be first save point and the end point should be last save point here we need to set feed rate according you to your machine speed we set the spindle speed feed rate speed and plug in, plug in to come tools to inside the material which is what we need to set for it finally press calculate and uh, power mill will start to make tool patch it take a few minutes to complete it i'll stop video recording and will resume it again as you see this screen line is tool pads made by power mill what we need here create g code from the tool patch 
From the toolpad, we select Create Individual in C program. And we will add toolpad to NC program. Set name for it. There, we, there was a specific post process for every machine. You should select your post processor to make a G code unless this G code cannot be usable in your machine. Here we define post processor. I choose power mill uh, post processor for my machine and uh, write the tool patch in the NC program or G code. We will wait for completed. Okay, it's completed. You can check G code with your software. Your code is ready and it's over. Thank you for watching. Hope see you soon.